There's been a huge increase in the number of female tram drivers with a campaign by Yarra Trams reaping results. But as Joe Hall reports, the public transport organisation is keen to attract many more women to help keep Melburnians on track. Brooke Marshall is more accustomed to pulling beers. I own a pub in Abbotsford, so I've had the lease for 13 and a half years and was looking for another job, something secure, something fun, something where I could kind of be my own boss. She came across Yarra Tram's Driven Women campaign aimed at boosting the number of females in the box seat. And I just thought, why not? I'll give it a shot. Drive through Melbourne, city I love. You know, you go down Burke Street Mall and you've got people taking photos of the tram. Brie Lamarca was a bus driver, but the country girl has always dreamed of being in charge of a city tram. There's something, I guess, I don't know, almost romantic about them. It's, there's a passion that people have for them. Brie says many women may never have considered driving a tram, but perceptions are changing and her husband is on board. He thinks it's pretty cool, actually. He tells everyone. <laughs> she's my wife. She's a tram driver. We just want to remove the barriers, uh, be it uh, real barriers or uh, perceived barriers. Yarra Tram says in the past women may have been turned off by safety aspects or shift work, particularly those with children. But Brooke, who has a 15-month-old, says it's a good balance. You can have your days free sometimes and, and maybe spend more hours than you would if you work nine to five with your, with your child. With some of the key myths now debunked, it seems more and more women are thriving on being in charge of a machine weighing more than 50 tonnes and responsible for the safety of hundreds of passengers. To become a driver, there's 29 days of formal training followed by further experience on at least one class of tram. And both male and female drivers will earn on average $91,000 a year. But Yarra Trams is determined to balance the books and is set on wooing women. We want uh, the workforce to reflect actually the, the, the population and the, the passengers we are transporting every day. Over a two-year period, there's been a 76% increase in the number of female trams drivers. However, they still only account for 16% of those at the controls. You just have to stay calm but mentally alert all the time. I mean, you do concentrate for those eight hours a day, so it can get exhausting. But clearly it's also a whole lot of fun. You get into the moment and, yeah, and who wouldn't want a ding? Joe Hall, Nine News.